Spain actually rules as perhaps one of the most sought-after tourist destinations in Europe. Simply consider other common Moorish royal residences, intriguing middle-aged towns, rich public parks, and elite galleries where one can wonder at masterpieces by Picasso and Salvador Dali. The variety of things to see and do in Spain is so brilliantly wide that you'll experience no difficulty topping off your schedule. Indeed, even local people haven't depleted everything to do there. And keeping in mind that it can require years, or even a lifetime, to really investigate each edge of this astonishing country, there are not many attractions that guests will generally lean toward. Planning down what to do on your next trip to Spain. Then check our list of the 14 top tourist attractions you must not miss in this country. Number 1. La Sagrada Familia, Barcelona. Often considered one of the most beautiful buildings in the world, La Sagrada Familia is a must-see attraction for anyone visiting Barcelona. Designed by the acclaimed Catalan architect Antoni Gaudi, this magnificent cathedral boasts of three gorgeous facades representing parts of the life of Christ. Embellished with columns representing branching trees, and multicolored stained glass windows, the interiors of the church resemble a magical forest. Thanks to its sheer beauty, and cultural importance, the building is the perfect synthesis of Gaudi's architectural evolution, La Sagrada Familia was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2005. Number 2. Royal Palace, Palacio Real, Madrid. The Royal Palace, Palacio Real, is the official home of the Spanish imperial family in Madrid, albeit presently utilized exclusively for state functions. Based on the site of the old Alcazar, the Moorish Palace, which was obliterated by fire in 1734, the Imperial Royal Residence takes guests on an excursion through Spain's set of experiences. Truth be told, the old city wall around this area can in any case be seen. Containing more than 3,000 rooms and underlying the type of a square, the charming Palacio Genuine was roused by portraits made by Bernini for the development of the Louvre Historical Center, Paris. While wandering your direction through the structure, the biggest functioning royal palace in Europe, you'll coincidentally find a ravishing flight of stairs planned by Sabatini, a lofty position corridor highlighting a roof painted by Tiepolo, and the imperial ordnance, which houses weapons and shield worn by the lords of Spain since the 13th century. Another must-visit room in the Royal Palace residence is the Painting Gallery, home to works of Caravaggio, Velázquez, and Goya. Number 3. Santiago de Compostela Cathedral. Built in 1075 during the rule of Alfonso VI, the Santiago de Compostela Archcathedral Basilica is quite possibly one of the main religious buildings in Spain. Beside being the presumed entombment spot of St. James the Great, the Messenger of Jesus Christ, the Basilica is likewise a verifiable journey site that denotes the end of the Camino de Santiago route. The whole city of Santiago de Compostela, coincidentally, merits investigating capital of the independent local area of Galicia, in northwestern Spain, the city envelopes a beautiful mix of middle-age apartments. In there, make certain to visit the Old Town, an UNESCO World Heritage Site that houses an assortment of Romanesque, Gothic, and Baroque buildings. Number 4. Ciudad de las Artes y las Ciencias, Valencia. Viewed as one of the 12 treasures of Spain, Ciutat de les Arts e les Sciences is one of the primary attractions of Valencia. This social and structural complex was created to get more the travel industry to the city, and it before long became one of Valencia's most immediately unmistakable landmarks. 
Entirely planned by the Spanish draftsman Santiago Calatrava and Felix Candela, this cutting-edge and eye-popping complex required almost 10 years to be completed. The City of Arts and Sciences houses an intelligent exhibition hall of science, Musu de les Sciences Principe Felipe, an IMAX cinema, planetarium and lazarium, lemispheric, an opera house and performing arts center, Palau de les Arts Reina Sofia, the biggest oceanographic aquarium in Europe, l'oceanographic, and other futuristic structures. Number 5. Guggenheim Museum, Bilbao. Culture buffs will never get bored in Spain, as the country has a number of fabulous museums covering a wide range of subjects. If you want to catch a glimpse of precious contemporary art pieces, don't pass up the chance to visit the Guggenheim Museum Bilbao, in the Basque Country. Designed by Canadian-American architect Frank Gehry, the museum is a masterpiece of contemporary architecture. Inside, You'll find a dazzling collection of approximately 600 artworks that were given to the museum by businessman and collector Solomon Guggenheim between 1937 and 1949, masterpieces by Mark Rothko, Jeff Koons, and Richard Serra make the Guggenheim Museum Bilbao one of the top cultural experiences in Spain. Number 6. Plaza de España, Seville. Encircled by the verdant grounds of the Maria Luisa Park, Plaza de España is perhaps of the most superb square in all Spain. This lovely plaza was built in 1928 for the Ibero-American Article of 1929 and designed by the acclaimed Seville draftsman Enibol Gonzalez. The semi-roundabout Plaza de España joins components of the Baroque Revival, Renaissance Revival, and Moorish Restoration styles of Spanish engineering, and outlined by a column of structures are utilized as government buildings. The plaza likewise includes a canal, which guests can boil. Number 7. Plaza Mayor, Salamanca. If you were impressed by the beauty of Plaza de España, just wait until you visit the Plaza Mayor, in Salamanca. Nestled in the heart of the city and built between 1729 and 1755, the plaza is known as one of the most beautiful in Europe thanks to its grandeur and intricacy in decoration. Dotted with sandstone buildings, the entire old city of Salamanca, by the way, was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, and it's worth exploring during a trip to Spain. Number 8. El Escorial, San Lorenzo de El Escorial. Nestled in the foothills of the Sierra de Guadarrama, the Escorial is a grand building complex located in San Lorenzo de El Escorial, near Madrid. Considered one of the most important constructions of the Spanish Renaissance, the complex was conceived by King Philip II, who wanted a building to serve the multiple purposes of a burial place for his father, Holy Roman Emperor Charles V. Constructed between 1563 and 1584, the Escorial includes a church, a monastery, royal palace, and college, and a library, and was decorated by many notable Spanish and Italian artists. While snooping around the buildings, expect to marvel at several artistic treasures, including frescoes by Pellegrino Tibaldi and Federico Zuccaro, six statues of Old Testament kings on the façade of the basilica, and manicured gardens. Number 9. Picos de Europa, Asturias. Adventure seekers who are traveling to northern Spain should include a visit to Picos de Europa on their bucket list. Spread across the provinces of Asturias, Cantabria, and Leon, the Picos de Europa National Park is filled with oak and beech groves, meadows, lakes, mountains, and gorges. Visitors can explore the park through its more than 30 routes, and marvel at the local nature at one of the park's scenic viewpoints. Number 10. Seville Cathedral, Seville. 
Welcome to the Cathedral of St. Mary of the Sea, the largest Gothic cathedral in the world and one of the most visited tourist attractions in Spain. Better known as Seville Cathedral, the church was built over a century, from 1401 to 1506, and it's famous for being home to the tomb of Christopher Columbus, which contains the remains of the great explorer. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage, the cathedral features some impressive details like a beautiful courtyard, Patio de los Naranjos, that dates back to the Moorish era, and the Giralda, which was the tallest building in the city for over 800 years. Number 11, Jerez de la Frontera, Andalusia. 56 miles south of Seville lies the charismatic city of Jerez de la Frontera, or simply Jerez. This hidden gem located in the Andalusia region is a must-visit destination for offbeat travelers who want to uncover the lesser-known marvels of Spain. Jerez has a charming old town, and several worth-seeing landmarks like the Moorish Fortress, the San Salvador Cathedral, and the 11th and 12th century Moorish Alcazar. Jerez is also known for its sherry production, and it's home to a lip-smacking collection of local bars, the Tabancos, that specialize in the city's signature tipple. Number 12. Prado Museum, Madrid. Dating back almost 200 years, the Prado Museum, officially known as Museo Nacional del Prado, is the main national art museum in Spain. Set in a gorgeous building designed by architect Juan de Villanueva in 1785, the museum is home to more than 2,300 paintings, aside from sculptures, prints, and drawings, Prado is one of the most thorough art museums in Europe, and it's worth visiting if you'd like to catch a glimpse of masterpieces by Picasso, Velázquez, Goya, and El Greco. Number 13. The Great Mosque of Córdoba, Córdoba Once a temple to the Roman god, Janus, the site was converted into a mosque and completely rebuilt by the descendants of Umayyads, the first Islamic dynasty who had ruled from their capital Damascus, in present-day Syria, from 661 until 750. The mosque, which was converted into a Christian cathedral in the 13th century, boasts an artfully crafted decoration, countless pillars like rows of palm trees, a Renaissance-style bell tower, white marble details, Byzantine-style mosaics, and other eye-popping features. Number 14. Palma Cathedral, Palma de Mallorca. Constructed at the place where the Arabian main mosque stood during the time of the Moors, the Cathedral of Santa Maria of Palma, Cathedral of St. Mary of Palma, is a true symbol of Palma de Mallorca. This Gothic Roman Catholic cathedral also called Liaciu or Cathedral of Light us visitors not only with its fascinating past but also its alluring details and features. The church boasts a massive rosette with more than 1,200 pieces of colored glass composed into patterns and floral ornaments and an impressive central nave that is one the tallest in Europe. From its rich Moorish past and its situation as the world's superpower during the Golden Age, to the revulsions of the Spanish Civil War, tyranny and the country's fruitful return to democracy, Spain's has a captivating history that is very much saved in its buildings and exhibition halls. Visiting Córdoba's mosque, one of the most outstanding instances of Moorish design on the planet, you get a genuine feeling of the influence and innovativeness of Spain's Islamic rulers, and the rich heritage they have presented to modern Spain. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Also press notification bell to notify you of any future similar videos.